Chile's Puyehue volcano is showing no mercy in neighboring Argentina, where, just like in Chile, blankets of thick ash are threatening livestock with starvation. And in places like Villa Angostura, which depend on tourism, ash rather than snow covers the landscape, just as the winter holiday season is due to begin. Nearly 1,600 kilometers north in Buenos Aires, the capital, the ash is also visible. You can see it very clearly on the cars. This is volcanic ash, not dirt. And it wasn't accumulated over a number of days, but just overnight. Last week and this week, our cars are covered in white dust. It's usually black, but now it's white. And anyone anticipating a normalization of air traffic better think again. Aviation authorities say a new and bigger cloud of ash is coming this way. Argentina's airports have been closed on and off ever since Chile's volcano erupted. In fact, right now, the people here have been told that this airport won't open for at least another 30 hours. But they're waiting just in case there is a break in the cloud of volcanic ash. Their fate literally depends now on which way the wind blows. At the queue, I ran into two Brazilian women I'd met at the Sao Paulo airport last week when our flights to Buenos Aires were cancelled for two days because of the ash. Now they're stuck again trying to fly back. We're at the mercy of the volcano, says Nidia. <laughs> but the volcano refuses to rest, at least according to experts who are predicting that the Puyehue's activity will continue unabated for probably at least another week. Cia Newman, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.